second and goal at the seven. 43 seconds to go. Ben travels around, throws it back corner of the end zone. Santonio with a touchdown! It is a clear crisp September day in Western Pennsylvania. Three River Stadium again sold out as the Colts have come to play the Pittsburgh Steelers. These great young runners, Beasley. Uh, Foster is now in his fifth year in the rookie Marshall Falk. And it'll be Falk and the Colts will go from scrimmage. But right now, Humphrey runs the opening kickoff back for Indianapolis and breaks it. He is across the 40 in open field. It's a foot race now. And Humphrey looks like he's going to win it inside the 20 and the 10. And Humphrey goes the distance. And the Colts are on the board with a 95-yard kickoff return. to scramble, takes a look downfield, nobody's open, and Harbaugh has to eat the ball. Standout defense by Greg Lloyd and the Steelers as they shut down Indianapolis on third down, an expensive penalty to the rookie Malum. Third down and just over a yard, coming from the Colt 45-yard line. It's Foster, first down and more. Gary Foster, who missed the last seven games of last season, underwent ankle surgery in December. Returning to that hard-running form in 92, he rushed for almost 1,700 yards and led the AFC against Indianapolis. And it's long, long yardage now, and they go to Marshall Falcon, even though it's a passing look. The Steelers are reading the run. Now let's go to Greg Gumbel in New York at NFL Live. Greg? 19 at the 21. It's a lone setback, and they give it to him, and Falk takes it ahead. And here comes a penalty marker in. Game had to be moved to Husky Stadium from the Kingdom. O'Donnell has time. He has an open man in Andre Hastings. Second year receiver from Georgia is inside the 45 yard line. A 17 yard game for the Steelers. Up, but Andre Hastings advanced the ball 17 yards with an interception. Here's Foster running high. There is Foster upended. Buchanan, the free safety, comes over and cuts him high, but there's a gain on the play of almost nine yards. Once again, everybody's up on the line of scrimmage. This time they guessed right, but they didn't play it very well. Colts had eight men around the line of scrimmage, but Foster got some great blocking and a super run. Change the name of the Steelers. So the comparative running stats, and here is Barry Foster running again. His biggest to the day as he thunders down to the 10-yard line. But Foster, who's been averaging only 2.8 a carry this season, breaks his biggest of the season, a 23-yard game. Bryn Coriot comes up. They commit a whole bunch of people to the line of scrimmage, and when you don't get it done, that means there's nobody back there. Good running by Barry Foster. Good blocking. You see all those white jerseys walking up to the line. When you don't stop it right away, you got trouble. And Foster's not going to come down voluntarily. A 28-yard run there. Now it is... Third down and goal from the eight-yard line. O'Donnell gets some time, takes a look. Here comes the rush. He loses the ball. It's free. It's a live ball. And the Colts are on the run. And one of the fastest linebackers in the NFL, Quentin Coriat, is on the run. And Coriat inside the 10. The play is live. And the Colts score again with a phenomenal play. 85-yard return of a fumble. 70 and sunny in western Pennsylvania, but a cloudy day for the Steelers as two huge plays by Indianapolis. An opening kickoff return for a touchdown, and now a fumble return. Lead over the heavily favored Steelers. Rod Woodson is again back deep for the kickoff, and here's Dean Biasucci into the ball. High spinning kick will carry inside the five. Well hit by Biasucci. Woodson breaks it across the 30, and look out. Here comes Rod Woodson. He's not done. Rod Woodson's going to go the difference. But there's a penalty marker down. There was a penalty marker down, but it might be against Indianapolis. It's at the line where they kicked off from the 30. And they might also rule he's out of bounds. He's an exciting player, but right here, I thought it would be very difficult for him to turn this corner. Watch that step, then that step. Boy, I tell you, he must have gotten just one piece, a quarter inch of his foot on the white line. Hey, and the NFL officials That's are remarkable. The position they always have, you see the official right. Did he get it here? Barry Foster right. Barry Foster right is the play. He, got, he did get there where they spat the ball to the 42-yard line. O'Donnell 
Love to play fake. Well in the flat. Open man. Well done to Yancey Pigpen. He brought the Steelers back in the game last week. At Cleveland, when they were down 10-0, he caught a 31-yard touchdown pass. That was a 15-yard gain. You know, that's just a great call against the right defense. You got Eugene Daniels in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Daniels turning and running much too early. You should be able to stay into your back pedal a lot longer than that, but that makes it a wide-open, easy... That's like playing throw and catch for He's being x-rayed now. Here is the rollout. O'Donnell takes a look into the end zone, and the defense is there, but they can't knock it down. Eric Green makes the catch. Jeff yeah, Parade was with him, but he couldn't knock the ball down. It went through his hands for a 27-yard touchdown, and the Steelers are right back in the game. Up and good, and the Steelers right back in the trail. 14-7, they'll kick off when we come back. Put spiral into the wind. Woodson makes the grab and starts right up the middle of the field. Using that fast as you can go as soon as you catch a technique, Rod Woodson <laughs> runs it back 11 yards. Well, if it wasn't for Stephen Grant, that's a touchdown. Colts took a 14-0 lead on two spectacular plays. Woo! Now they go back to Foster with blockers in front. Foster's ahead for a Steeler first down inside the 45-yard line. Donald on first down, takes a look, timing pattern, he's got his man, a diving reception by the rookie Charles Johnson. That choice. Little rhythm route, three-step drop, nice delivery, good catch, look at the referee. Second down, end up. Harry Foster, he might go. He's inside the 10 and he's into the end zone. And the Steelers are an extra point from tying the game. sometimes, Don, is when you're playing against another great running back, you get a great performance. Foster. Foster falls in behind him, sees a seam, and it's simply a race. And look at the fullback block he got on the outside from Yancey Thickpin, number 82. Just a great job of offense. Once again, it's the Marshall plan, and it's shut down. And second down and a long four. With a loss of two yards at the inside backers, LeVon Kirkland and Chad Brown were on the stop. Lloyd is one of the absolute best. Look at him coming from the outside. Takes on a blocker. That's Roosevelt Potts. And when you can take on Potts perfectly, you've got some balance. I mean, Potts made a great good. block, basically. He just beat it. Third down and six for the Colts. Blitz. They get him. Penalty marker. It's going to be a holding call against the Colts also, I think. Kevin Green and Greg Lloyd, the outside backers, came on a blitz. Holy number 63. Our penalty is applied. Four The center call for a hold is declined. Outside in by both of them. Green takes an inside rush. Lloyd just blitzes around to the outside. When Lloyd flashes by, here's Lloyd. Now, when he flashes by, Harbaugh knows it's over. He basically kind of folds up, and then Green knocks him down. The power running game, and they go back to the money. The very Foster. Now, this time it's Bam Morris who gets the call. They give Foster a break with all his carries, and Bam Morris is ahead to the 29-yard line, and that'll bring us down to the two-minute warning. Steelers in a hurry-up offense. First year, Williams with the Steelers. Here is a diving catch of beauty by the tight end. He's phenomenal. Eric Green, <laughs> he's dead. 280 pounds diving? Are you kidding me? Looks like Charles Johnson. <laughs> Buster nursing a leg bruise. Here's a blitz. Well done by O'Donnell as he gets the ball off up the middle. And John L. Williams is ahead for a first down. As the game clock is down to 26 seconds to play. Them back. The short, quick passing game featuring Eric Green. O'Donnell stands in. Another open receiver on a crossing pattern. And the ball is taken down inside the 30-yard line to the 29. Yancey Thigpen made the reception. 14-14. Tenth play of the drive for Pittsburgh. O'Donnell takes a look. Here's another screen pass. Big John L. Williams breaks a tackle. 
and gets out of bounds at the 27 yard line. 46 yards. He used to be a 50 yard man, but he's still very, very accurate. Anderson this year has hit two of three. This will be a 46 yarder. It's tough to handicap this win, Beasley. It's kind of gusty. The flag's going every which way. A spinning kick, and it looks like oh, it bounces off the crossbar and goes over. Wow. Whatever's fair. <laughs> so in the last play of the half, the Steelers, rallying for 17 unanswered points, have come back to take the lead, 17 to 14. 7 yard line. O'Donnell play faking. Stands in against the rush. Releases downfield and he makes the connection. Coming down with the ball. It was Andre Hastings, number 88, wide receiver from Georgia. Whittington a lot. The running game will be coming at him. Here's a pitch back now to John L. Williams. And John L. breaks it. Takes on tacklers. Derwin Gray is hit head on by Williams as he wins that collision. Does the fullback for the Steelers. Yards Beasley in the touchdown. He's going to get some more. Play fake to Foster. Here is O'Donnell setting up the screen to the weak side. John L. Williams with a blocker in front. He's inside the 20-yard line. And they're going to cut him down right at the 22. For the ball for the first time in the second half. Trailing by three. Colts with just two first downs. Marshall Falk turns it up. And more outstanding defense by the Steelers. Arnell Lake, the strong safety, led the tacklers. First down for the Colts. Down by three in the third quarter. Marshall Falk looks to turn outside. Woodson gets him. He does advance the ball for some plus yardage. Down close to the 31-yard line for Marshall Falk. See that? 143 rushing the first week. 104 last week against Tampa Bay. 30 yards today. So he's got to throw. He's got to air it out. A lot of speed in Steeler defense. Harbaugh does well to get his arm going forward as he is struck by Greg Lloyd. Maybe they shouldn't throw. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stick that right now. A blindside hit just to like the one O'Donnell was struck with. And a great second look at producer John McGinnis, director Kelly Atkinson, executive producer Tommy Roy. Is over to the end zone is there for a touchdown. Spielberg produced Sequest tonight on NBC as O'Donnell gives off to Barry Foster. He breaks it and Foster is out to the 40. Power run right. They're going at the rookie, Whittington. John Hand out with a badly sprained ankle, and they're taking on Whittington and blowing him off the ball. There's no trickery here. The offensive lineman pulling full blocking around. Barry just finding a crease, using that 5'10, 220 pounds of thrust. The 45 yard line. Nice swing pass by O'Donnell. He gets his man into first down. White Stone in the game. Makes the reception and the first down run after the catch. And for Harbaugh and the Colts. At their seven. They go to Falk. Try to get some yards, but there are none to be had. Even Henry makes the stop for Pittsburgh. As the Colts hold to a four-point lead, and we'll be right back after these messages from your local station. From the 35, as Harbaugh looks over the Steeler defense. He gets time, lets it go long, and he, ha oh man, that was right there to Floyd Turner. For Pittsburgh. O'Donnell hands off, and on the run is Barry Foster. Ahead for 15 yards and a first down. Pittsburgh 3 of 10 on previous third down conversion tries. This is third and three. O'Donnell takes a look. He's got to hurry. Swings it out, and he makes the connection, and in the open field is Bam Morris, and he is heading for the end. Linebacker ran him down. Forty-nine yard gain on a third and three. He gives up a big one here to O'Donnell. That was option number three for O'Donnell. That was absolutely brilliant. Look at that. One, two. He looked everywhere until he found this open receiver. That's confidence. That's veteran leadership. And then Bam just does the best he can do. A big, thick fullback trying to outrun those little skinny defensive backs. What a great play. Now the Steelers challenging to go ahead. It's Bam Morris again. Flying over the top and down to the eight-yard line. Big down. Third and seven for the first. Third and eight for the touchdown. O'Donnell looks. He fires. He's got it in. And into the end zone. John L. Williams for the touchdown. That puts the Steelers ahead again. The 
gives the Steelers the lead again, 24-21. Seaver set to the right, and first and 10. Tight end is left to the top of your screen. They go to the Marshall Falk run, and the yards come tough. Down after down, Chad Brown was out of step. It's tough work, tough going in the NFL. Highball faces the blitz and has to eat the ball. As the big backer from Clemson, LeVon Kirkland, shot the gap and got him. They're down and long comes up now. A big, big play arises. Well, you knew that the defense was going to be, you know, exerting its will. This is the best defense in the league year after year. That's what, that's what they call a game where the defensive lineman loops around. Just a big, big play. Harbaugh rolling out, looking downfield. He throws. Incomplete. Is there a flag? The Colts are screaming for one. But they're ruling it incomplete, and the Colt coaches are incensed. Prove on those numbers with 26 carries and 155 yards in the book so far. It made a big difference, but the Colts only down by three. Here's a roll up by O'Donnell. He swings the pass out. He's got John L. Williams. The last time he caught it, he was in the end zone for a touchdown. And this time, he's ahead for a big gain of almost 20 yards. Long, Tony Siragusa. On first down, the give is right up the middle. Foster breaks it. A 12 yard gain. He now has 167 for the days. Taking command of this game as it wears on. Pittsburgh leading by just three, but again they go to the power run. Inside gap running game, and Foster takes it, bounces to the outside. He's ahead for a gain of seven. To Seattle next week. It'll be a six o'clock Eastern start here on NBC because the Seattle Seahawks had a move from the Kingdome. But that looked like a cheap shot. Good news, Corey has jogged off the field. Here is a throw downfield. They go to the big guy, Eric Green. This time he holds on right over the middle of the field, down to the 33-yard line for a 16-yard gain. Eric Green lined up at wide receiver. See, that's what's so scary. He goes up, corrals the ball, and look, they try to knock him out. The little defensive backs, and they bounce right off. Running the ball. Pitch back. John L. Williams, blockers in front. Great play call by the Steelers. It's good for a first down. Reason that they're struggling. And second and seven. Here's a throw and a catch. Is he in? No signal. He's going to be right down to the goal line, Barry Foster, but no official signal of a touchdown. But it will be a first down. And the Steelers will be at point-blank range to put this game away. Yeah, but how many times, Don, do you see athletes drop this ball? Oh, yeah. That's impressive. Foster catches this knowing he's going to get popped. Third down and goal, Steelers. To the run. Van Morris, he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Reduced now to nothing more than an all-out passing game to try to get back in it. 179 total yards. Harbaugh stands in. Dumps it off. Might have been picked off. The Steelers pick it was. Now they're ruling it's incomplete. He tried to just shuffle pass ahead to Roosevelt Pops. He's wide to the right, the lower portion of your screen. Here's Harbaugh. He's hit as he throws it. It's picked off by a Steeler. The Pittsburgh pass rush puts a lock on the game. Even Henry, number 76, as Falk slams his helmet down. Kevin Green put the heat on. There he is, number 91. The hook. You know, they know he's got a pass, so they're rearing back and throwing the home run bombs. Look at the pressure. There's really nothing you can do. Kevin Green forcing two guys trying to block Green. He still forces his way in there. Watch Green take the fall in on the inside rush. And over two guys, he gets the push on Harbaugh. This and is then Henry with the catch. First great game he's had since his banner season of 92. Van Morris isn't bad either. He's still on the run all the way out to the 46-yard line. And, you know, full of running backs who played on bad teams with no blocking. And they simply couldn't block Pittsburgh. Foster with 179 today. Marshall Foster. Filmed by Dallas here at Three Rivers. Then they came back to win at Cleveland last week. Today they've come back to win again. Dominating the game as it wears on. 